Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 158. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Tricks 155 to 167. Hey, trick 158. We have a, a data set of student IDs, classes, and grades. And in the last video, we saw how we could uh, select from the drop down. And the only part of the table where we wanted to look for grades was highlighted. But in this video, we want to do it one step further. Instead of just doing conditional formatting, we want to do a V lookup in this column here that retrieves data from only the highlighted area. Now you can see here we've selected. Uh, student 34 these are the classes they've taken from the database data set here are their grades and we want to return it to a little table with all the courses needed for the degree now the VLOOKUP in this column we don't want it to look at the a whole table we just want it to to change or the range depending on what's in this cell so Whenever we choose 34, we want the VLOOKUP to only look at this part of the table. When we change it to 33, we want it to look at this part of the table. Now, the VLOOKUP over here is going to be looking up these classes, right? So in essence, this is a two-variable lookup. We have some uh, variables here, but we also need the VLOOKUP to depend on student ID. So let's see how to do this. Now, I'm actually going to have to hide some columns here just so we can uh, uh, have a little bit more room. All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to do V lookup equals V lookup. Now the lookup value is this right here, and we need to uh, don't. It's a relative sum, so as we copy down, it's going to look up the right class. Comma. Now the table array. Here's the problem. The the crux of this um, problem here is that we really would like, since it says three three three. Uh, student 3, 3 there, we'd really like to just highlight that. When we were to change this to 2, we would want then that table array to look there. Well, there's a perfect function for this. It's called the offset function. It defines a dynamic range. So I'm going to type offset. Now, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 arguments in the offset function. The first is where do you want to start? Well, we're going to tell the off start, offset function to start there, and I'm going to hit F4. Um, F4 twice because we're going to lock it going down. Now, the idea is you have to tell the offset function where in the spreadsheet you always want to start. So we're always going to start there. Comma. Rows is the next argument. It means from the starting point, how many rows down or up do you want to go? Now for us, we need to start here and then go down here because our range is actually going to start here. So we need to somehow tell the offset function go one, two, three cells down from uh, the ID, the B13 here. Now watch, this is row 13, one, two, three. So really what you're going to tell the offset function is to add three to get to the 16th row. Now there's a perfect function for this. We can use the match, because if we ask match function to look this up here, it'll tell us 3, which is the ordinal position. And since there's duplicates, the match function only returns the first um, ordinal position. So now we're going to do match. We're going to say, look this up right here, and we're going to need to lock this going down, comma. And the lookup array, I'm going to highlight this whole range here and lock it going down comma 0 because we're looking up an exact match or a word, close parentheses. Now that's a clever way. And you can highlight this right here and hit the F9 key, right, and see that it's 3. What a clever use of the match to get the first uh, item that represents a match here. Control Z. So that's the row. Now comma, how many columns? Now here's the starting position. We're still telling the offset how many columns we want to go. If we add one, it would go to C, which is what we want, because we want to actually have this be the first column, these, account, these course names. So I'm going to just type a one here for column. Please add one column comma. Now what's the height? Now we want it to be 1, 2, 3, 4 high, but here. Now the way we'll do this is count if. Count if, and what are we going to count? I didn't mean to do that. I meant to put, push that out of the way, pull that out of the way. We're going to count uh, the range. is going to be this whole range right here. And I'm going to lock it going down, comma. And I'm going to 
uh, count those one two lock that one also so this count if goes through this whole range and counts one two three four well that happens to be exactly how tall we want it to be or the height now comma and the final argument is what's the width well we want to go from one to two so it's two columns width close parentheses all right so that offset will define this dynamic range and if you were to highlight this whole offset and hit F9 you'd see that it got it exactly right it's looking at this little mini table here not just the whole thing if we were really doing the purple it would just be that for the VLOOKUP control Z now VLOOKUP I'm back to VLOOKUP and that's when you're doing a big formula these screen tips come in type a handy because you can see where you are comma I need a column index and I'm always returning from the second so I'll type a 2 close parentheses um, we're looking up a comma we need a, a tr false which is zero because we're looking up words close parentheses there's a close parentheses on the VLOOKUP and now I can uh, control enter just to enter in that cell and keep that cell highlighted and then copy it down uh oh there's NA's now if you don't mind the NA's that's no problem we can then just leave those there otherwise we could build uh, an if and is NA around this formula right here and uh, enable the NA's to become blank so we just put our cursor at the beginning here and I'm actually going to copy this whole thing, control C. And now I'm going to say if is an A. And since this is going to be a true false, I'm going to put a parenthesis at the end of this. And it's going to say, when this is an A, what do we want? There's a logical test. We type comma, and we get to the value of true. Double quote, double quote for blank, comma. Otherwise, if it's false, which means it's not an NA, we're going to control V and paste that whole big thing. And then close parentheses. I'm going to control enter to keep that cell highlighted and put the cell in the formula and double click and send it down. Now there's an easier version in 2007 and this is worth getting 2007 just for this equals if error and you just put uh, control V that and then you just say the final argument if error is what do you if that comes out to be an error what do you want and I'm going to put comma and then double quote is that not much easier? Control enter and then double click and send it down. All right, so that's kind of a two variable uh, lookup uh, and using the offset function. All right, we'll see you next trick.